Okay, spring break shark attack. It's primarily spring break with the standard people in bikinis walking around. So think, think Baywatch with a much younger cast and then at the very end throw in super unrealistic shark attacks. Yes, this is primarily spring break with, you know, like the hot guys giving chicks roofies and your standard cast of, you know, like local townie guy, stubbly dude who's like, oh man, my girlfriend's here. Dude, this totally sucks. How am I going to kick it here at spring break? Walking up to girls with such lines as, hey, you want to hook up? And in the movie, they work. And of course, his buddy who's roofing girls. But primarily focuses on, you know, the, uh, the female characters. One in particular. Of the somewhat sheltered, super pale redhead who has her friends make fun of her. Like, you're so pale. It's not that bad. No, you're like ridiculously pale. Oh, I forgot about the sharks. Yeah, you don't really see them at all. There are a few moments where they actually show and throw the, the one big fact about sharks. They do kind of sense movement, so if you don't like flail around trying to escape, they tend to not find you. And of course, there's someone studying the sharks who also goes to the same school as the as most of the main female leads. He's studying the sharks, he thinks he's found some sort of, you know, oh man, these sharks are tiger sharks don't hunt don't hunt in groups. And he thinks he's found some sort of way to make it safer for divers to, to dive in areas that are shark infested. At the very, very end, like the last like 15 minutes of the movie, so it's out on sci-fi, so it might be maybe the last 10 minutes, there is a party barge that gets attacked by what looks like 50 sharks. And of course, nobody sees them, even though all of their fins are showing. For the most part, when they show the sharks underwater, they show like National Geographic pictures. There's an actual shark swimming. You might notice that the depth from the ground is always different. When they finally show the sharks actually attacking people, it, it is it is not an impressive sight. The dorsal fins and the tops don't look that bad. It looks fairly shark-like. When they show the actual shark coming up, it, it's less than impressive, but they do it for a couple of seconds. This movie is pretty much a really bad spring break movie with some shark attacks thrown in. So over the top of the east, they actually show what well, looks like the guy says 250 pound, I think he said sea turtles, that have been attacked by sharks. How have they been attacked by sharks? Because there is a giant section of, because their head is missing, as well as the shell surrounding it. I don't know what sort of shark, but if that, if the sharks that are attacking the people can bite through 250 pounds, you know, sea turtle shell, the shell, Talking like, you know, the base, the thick part of the shell, basically behind the skull. Remove it, as well as, as well as the shell underneath. I don't know if people were leaving with, like, scratches. They should be able to get them out of the water with, like, scratches on them. Now, apparently this thing can bite a turtle in half that's 250 pounds. They should pretty much be gnawing humans into, like, a fine paste. But no one's is someone going, going underwater and the water turning red. It's got moments that are... <sighs> this isn't even a good spring break movie. It, it kind of fails on both sides. For being like a fun jaw, Jaws knockoff, yes, towards the very end, they did some sequences that I thought they were actually going to have. You know, the boat had like the motor torn off and all that. I thought they actually had the boat tip up and have the shark attack into the edge and then dive onto it and be like the ending of Jaws. I, they were really close to doing it, but they don't. Instead, they use the kid's science experiment to save the day. That is Spring Break Shark Attack, a movie that kind of fails on both parts.